Hello everybody, it's your boy CJ Terriaga, and welcome to my Broly Collection. Now in today's video, I want to talk about something. I want to talk about your guys' questions. That's right. So a few, uh, a few videos ago, I asked you guys about some questions you guys may have. Well, um, I also went to Discord and asked for their questions from different servers that I am a part of. And luckily, I was able to get a few questions. And some of these I really would like to answer because they're really fun. I did write them down. So if I'm looking down quite a bit, it's because, well, I'm, I'm reading. So, on to the first question. This is by Berkeley. And Berkeley asked, what introduced you to become a Broly fan? Well, way back when I was a little kid, my cousin, he introduced me to Dragon Ball, if I recall. And uh, he really got me kind of into it. And ever since then, I've been a, a fairly decent fan. I've been on Dragon Ball on and off. But at the very start, I saw Broly and I thought he was the coolest character I've ever seen. And I really liked him. And uh, well, many years later, up until 2018, that really, uh, that really blew up. And yeah, that's how I became a Broly fan. On to the next question. And this is by Azurite Rabbit. Thanks again, Azurite Rabbit, for your uh, for your question, as well as you, Berkeley. And Azurite Rabbit wrote, My question for Broly fans is usually, colon, How did you end up liking the character? And what made you decide to start a collection? Well, let's start off with the first question. So how I ended up liking the character. Now you might think that might be similar to the first question, but actually no. Uh, how I ended up liking the character was his eyes. I know. <laughs> it's his eyes. Um, the reason being was because growing up, I was a big WWE fan. And if you know about WWE, then you might know about a particular character by the name of Undertaker. And I'm going to put some pictures on the screen here now. But Undertaker, he had this trait throughout most of his career where he would roll his eyes back and his eyes would go white. And I thought that was so cool. He was my favorite wrestler and his eyes were white. And I really liked WWE. That, I mean, that wasn't the only factor. Just Undertaker was a really gothic character and I really liked that aesthetic. And I thought it was such a cool and interesting character. He was a really good fighter. And uh, it was just really entertaining to watch him wrestle. As well as plenty of the matches he's been in and the storylines. So... When I saw Broly, I instantly associated his plain white eyes with Undertaker's white eyes. The lack of pupils. And I thought, that is so cool. And then I got, you know, I grew up and then I look back at the character. I'm like, dude, this character is so cool. His design is very unique. So interesting. His dialogue is just so psychotic and maniacal. I love it. He's just a genuinely cool character he's what a, vil a dbz villain should be at least the first one the, f the first bully movie there are two nah. all right as far as the second question what made you decide to start a collection well i've gotten one or two broly items for you know forever um like when i was a little kid i got the good and evil Jack specific double pack when I was like really young and that would technically be my first Broly figure ever uh, but I don't know where it is and if I knew where it was I would be displaying it with the collection but I do plan on getting it again eventually but regardless um, and that was the first time I got a Broly figure and then in 2018 I got a Broly uh, actually prior to 2018 it was between 2017 and 2018 but I got a Broly statue, which I actually do have, and I can go ahead and show you. And here he is. Now, I did have to go digging a bit to pull him out, but this is my first Broly item that I've gotten since I was a kid that I can actually show. Well, okay, not actually since I was a kid. I got this, like, 2017, 2018, um, because that's around the time that I was working and uh, was 18, so I started going to work, so I got paychecks. And this was one of the first things I got with some of my paychecks. So, very happy to get them. 
is really cool. Uh, I'm not sure if he's official or not. He could be a bootleg, but that's fine. Um, there's still some history to that, and uh, I'm happy to make this my first Broly figure. All right, let's go on to the next question. And the next question is by Vibes, and Vibes asked, the most expensive versus the least expensive Broly figure. First item. Okay, so as far as the first item, like I've already said what the first item was. It was the Broly from the Jack Specific Good and Evil double pack that came with uh, Goten. Um, I'm not, I might still have the Goten, but I don't know where the Broly is. So that statue I just showed you, that is my first uh, Broly item that I can show. Um, but as far as your other question, the most expensive versus the least expensive Broly figure. Uh, the most expensive Broly figure, singular, that would be, it would be my San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, uh, Funko Broly Pop signed by Vic McDogna. Not the Summer Collection one, or the Summer Convention one, no, it's the San Diego Comic-Con one, as well as the SH Figure Arts DBC Broly. Um, both these figures, I, I actually believe I got this guy for 170 maybe, but I think I might have gotten him for 220 I'm not sure. That's been a very long time. But the uh, San Diego Comic Con, I do know I got for like $220 for the uh, Funko Pop. I know it's a lot spending for just a Funko Pop, but it's Broly, and it's a Broly I didn't have. Plus, it's signed by, by Vic, and I knew that the Funko Pop was really expensive. So, to me, it was an insta buy as soon as I saw it. Um, now, biggest purchase. I know that wasn't quite your question, but there is a difference between biggest purchase. My biggest purchase was the $500 I spent to get all the movie collection Broly's I own. Minus the one out of package. So, these three guys here, as well as the blue one here. All, of, all four of those still brand new in packaging. Uh, cost me $500 to get those four figures and probably one of the best purchases I've ever made probably thinking that's crazy that they're really expensive just for four plastic figures but a they're brand new in packaging they still have the sticker and so they have not been opened B these figures um, the common ones go for about 100 to 200 unopened still in box and the rare ones, so the blue haired variant and the Z store, uh, Z store exclusive, could go from three hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars if you can find them. <laughs> They're really rare. So um, if you add that all up together, five hundred dollars is a pretty good chunk, is a a, a favorable amount discount. Uh, and yeah, now as far as my least expensive item. I actually know the answer to that. And that is this little Broly keychain. Now, I don't really get to show off my small Broly collectibles that often, so showing off this guy. I got this guy for a penny. I, I, I'm not kidding. I got this guy for a literal penny. Um, that's excluding tax and shipping and all that. But uh, overall, it came up to, like I think, about a dollar or something like that. But this guy was up for a bid and the bidding price was a penny so i bid that and i got it so this is literally my most inexpensive broly figure i've ever gotten that's truly incredible i mean to get this guy you would at least have to pay 25 cents or more and uh yeah i think that covers all the uh the Least expensive and most expensive regarding to your question vibes. Let's go on to the final question. Fletch QC asked, important question that needs to be featured in your YouTube video. Where Puar? No, I'm kidding. Um, no, here, here's a picture of Puar for you, uh, Fletch. Just to just to appease the Fletch Puar fan out there, 
and uh, yeah. Alright, um, I think that's it for the video. Not really a whole lot to talk about, but if you guys have any more questions, please feel free to write them down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to have my brain picked about this character, or my experiences with this character, or just information about the collection itself. But yeah, hope you guys take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.